Hey, today we are going to be showing you how to calibrate a Spear Scientific benchtop meter using a conductivity probe. I do want to point out that everything we're going to be talking about is found in your instruction manual beginning on page 31. So the first thing you do after you get the unit, or if you haven't used the unit in a while, is make sure it sits in, what's in distilled water for at least 30 minutes. Now our probe has been sitting in distilled water for at least 30 minutes. Also, every time you calibrate the unit, you must use fresh solution. Now this unit does five different ranges, and they're found on page 31 of your manual as well. So today we're going to be doing range three, so the calibration solution that we're going to be going to is 1413. So that's important information for you to know. We also are using the two beaker solution as is recommended in the manual. So the first thing you do after it's been sitting in for 30 minutes is you take your probe, tap out the distilled water to eliminate as much contaminants as you can, put it into your first beaker, swish it around a little bit, tap it out, put it into the second beaker, this is the one you're actually going to be calibrating from, and here you have to make sure you get all the air bubbles out of the probe. Let the probe stabilize for a little bit, and at this time, and only at this time, do you actually turn on the meter. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the meter. And first thing you're going to want to make sure is on the nice big screen here is you're in conductivity, because these meters do more than one, just one parameter. So we are in conductivity and we're in auto calibration. But let's say it was in a different one, such as pH or salt you would just use the mode button, as you can see, I'm hitting the mode button, and moving across until I came back to conductivity. So that's the first step, is you want to make sure you're in the right mode. Now, once we know that we're in the right mode, we're going to start calibrating the unit. And again, because it's an auto calibration, that's very simple to do. All you do is hit the calibration button. We're now going to be calibrating the unit wait for it to stabilize, and then we're going to go up and down until we get to 1413, because that is what our test sample is, or our calibration solution. So I'm going to go down, but if I wanted to go up, I would use the up button, but I need to go down. One four one three, as you can see on the second subscreen right here, I hit the confirmation, and now you can see it's now reading at one four one three. This meter is calibrated. Let's say you got an error message, just as error seventeen as an example. For any of the bench tops, any time you get an error message, you need to reset them back to the factory settings. This information is found on page fifty six of your manual, and it works the same for any of the meters. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the unit is on, it's in the setting that you want, and you go to hold the set button until you see the P in the subset. So now I'm in the actual function button of the computer, or the little computer that's inside this unit. I'm going to go to P9, which is reset, Reset, say I went too far, I can go back to it just like before. I'm going to hit min-max, it's going to ask yes or no. I want to hit yes. I want to hit min-max, or the little confirmation button that you would see. It's going to be now reset, hit escape, and I'm back to factory settings as you can tell by the unit going to there. I do want to point out, anytime you calibrate the unit, this unit does five different ranges, you are only calibrating one of those ranges. And when it resets just that one range, it doesn't reset all five ranges. Again, all this information is found in your manual, and that starts on page 31 for conductivity. Thank you.